So hello everybody. Uh, good morning again uh, from me. Um, I think you had a great day today. You saw a real surgeon from LA, straight from LA. Um, I mean, he's one of the most renowned guys, um, not only in North America, in the world. So it is always a pleasure to watch those guys, how they do surgery. So and now we have like the last theoretical part. Um, this is like a procedure you will have to deal with, um, especially in emergency cases and especially when you're in a pediatric service. It's called pericardiosynthesis. So when do we use that and what does it mean? So this is like a procedure you have to deal with when you have a patient with a cardiac tamponade, which means like uh, it's an accumulation of fluid in the pericardium, um, which is like right above um, the heart, but beneath the ribs. It's like a, a, a small space which is protective for the heart. And, um, and uh, but if you have like an effusion in that small sac, we call it pericardial sac, you have a sufficient cause of obstruction of the heart. And this means that you have an elevation of the intercardiac pressures, a limitation of ventricular filling, and the reduction of the cardiac output. Um, and the, the amount uh, of fluid you um, need to cause all those problems is not much. Uh, like a, a acute tamponade is approximately 150 to 200 uh, milliliters, and the chronic tamponade can be in infectious or tumor disease one to two liters. So and the, the most uh, common causes for that is uh, what I mentioned before is neoplastic disease. Uh, you can have it idiopathic, an infection, no one knows why. Uremia, um, of course, cardiac surgery and trauma is always, or not always, but often depends on the severity associated with a pleural effusion. Um, and the patient presents with a short breath, weakness, anxiety, tachycardia, cyanosis, and uh, what, what you see here, like a uh, uvula vein, which is engorged. Um, the diagnostic is pretty simple. It depends on uh, the guy who does this. I mean, you can do a chest x-ray. I mean, this is clear, but it's not often that clear. And of course, the most sensitive diagnostic one is the echocardiogram, the echo. And um, you can really distinguish between um, a pleural effusion and normal heart, because if this is, as you see here on that image, the normal heart. Um, this is the right, this is the left ventricle. And you see there's some um, echo-free space, which is black, between the um, <clears throat> epicardium, we call it here, and the, the pericardium. And you see there's something wrong, there might be fluid inside. So, and what do we do then? I mean, the patients are symptomatic, it's a lot of fluid, otherwise um, you would not see it on these diagnostics, so you have to do something. I mean, um, this, is, this is called pericardiosynthesis, which means puncture of that space and um, give it a relief, so take the, the blood or fluid out of the pericardial sac. And there have been many um, insertion sites been described to puncture the, the sac of the heart. Um, and the most um, commonly used are like right beneath the xiphoid and it's uh, on the left side, this is the left side, between the xiphoid and the um, rib attachment, the sternocostal rib attachment. And this is now exactly what, one, what we're going to do today in the lab. It's uh, the technique. It's um, you aim the needle right um, beneath the xiphoid process. You aim 44 degrees to the left shoulder. And this is like the sagittal um, direction of the needle. It's also like 45 degrees. It's easy to, um, to understand. And then you, of course, have always to be careful with what you're doing because if you puncture the heart, you may rupture part of the heart, which can be very dangerous. So this is what we're going to do. But um, if you have like all the setting, you do it, of course, with ultrasound guidance. And um, on the far left picture, you see uh, again, um, this is the head of the ultrasound. You see the heart here. Uh, this is the right ventricle. This is the left ventricle. And this is like the the pleural sac, which is expanded because there's a lot of fluid inside. Um, then you take the ultrasound, aim it 45 degrees. Everything is 45 degrees, so it's easy um, to remember. Um, and it's you always have to be between the ribs. It's often between the fifth and sixth sternocostal rib attachment. And then you see the, the space exactly, and you can dis distinguish this from the heart and the ventricle, and you aim your needle into that space. 
then you did what we did yesterday uh, and the days before. If you puncture it, you insert um, a catheter through that hole and um, so that you can get all the fluid um, outside the sac. And that's it from me. Thank you very much.